All right, we are live. Good morning, everybody. Thank you for tuning in to our third episode of Pro Tips Live Masters of Volume Photography. Today, we'll be speaking with the lovely Emily Davis of Kitty Clicks Preschool Photography out in Texas, and she has wonderful input to give everybody who is looking to get into preschool photography. She's a great photographer. She's an educator. She has a lot of great ideas, and I think you'll find this show very valuable, especially if you're a preschool photographer, for sure. Um, myself, we do a few of the preschools, so I'm eager to learn and eager to listen. Um, so I'm, we, we're, we're just going to get right into it. But at last week, if you watched the show, uh, we did an eighth grade cap and gown, um, and we did some multiple posing as well. Uh, I checked in with you guys. I just want to show my screen at one point uh, briefly, but we were probably around a 50% buy rate. And I know people like to discuss about participation rates and buy rates, especially for doing online galleries. Um, cause that's a big thing. If you move from prepay over to online galleries, online selling, um, the first thought that comes to mind is, oh boy, I don't want to lose all these sales. Right. But we've done it. It works. We succeeded. We want everyone else to try it as well. I'm sure Emily has a lot of input on it, um, as well. So anyway, we, we are at 50%. I'm going to show my screen here. So bear with me. Um, <clears throat> let me bring it up here. So if you can see my screen, I'll try and make it a little larger. Hopefully everyone's doing great. Here we go. Perfect. Okay. So last week, this number down here was probably around 50 to 55%. I don't remember exactly where it was, but you can see right now that number's crept up to 66%. Uh, it's brought our total up to about $4,518 and everything gone, service fee production, uh, we're down to $4,029.94. Okay. So I told you that number is going to creep up. The money does come in a little bit differently as it does with prepay, it takes a little bit more time, which you need to understand that. But when our gallery just closed a couple days ago, we got probably 15 more orders come through. Uh, we had a $36 average order. Sales per access is $24.42. So that means if, if you showed up and you had every single purchase, every single person purchase something that, ba that day, they would be buying $24.42, which isn't that bad of a number. Um, so I just wanted to share that with you guys. We were extremely happy with that. Last year, we did 3,700. Uh, we used Got Photo and we used private galleries and it was 3,600. We had a few more students come in. That's why we see the higher numbers. But I think also keep in mind, whenever you do online galleries, whenever you offer a new system, um, the first year is always going to be possibly slower than the second year, right? Because now the parents, they're used to it. Um, they get it. They love it. And now they're more verse with the online selling software that you are using. So you will see improvements from the second year as you will from the first year. So keep that in mind. All right. <clears throat> Back to the show. Let me hide that. Uh, before I bring Emily in, I just wanted to give a brief introduction of who she is. I met Emily a couple of weeks back. She was eager to come on the show. I'm extremely pleased with that. Uh, she's a photographer and an educator based out of the Dallas Fort Worth area in Texas. Uh, she specializes in modern, colorful children's portraiture and an unmatched customer service experience. I like that. I may steal that. Very good. Her preschool business, Kitty Clicks Preschool Photography, has been changing the preschool game in North Texas. Um, so here is none other than Emily Davis. Hi, Emily, guys. there you are. Hey. Thanks for coming on. I, I yeah, have a list of questions that I want to ask you. Uh, hopefully there's going to be a few people that chime in maybe with their own questions. I'll try and monitor over to the side. If I miss it, bear with me, people, give me a few minutes and I'll catch it. I promise. Um, let me just get rid of a few things here. So <clears throat> kind of going to dive right in, Emily, if you don't mind. Okay. All right. So let's start simple. Let's start quick. How did you get into preschool slash volume photography? Well, um, I started out in the wedding industry in 2011. Loved doing that. It was great while I did it. Um, but then I had my two babies in 20, late 2016 and early 2018. So they are two and three now. And I'm in full like toddler mode. Right. And the weekends were just getting too hard. And it was just getting where um, I needed something that worked for my life a little bit better and worked a little bit better for um, our family. So right. now I'm working the preschools Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Um, my kids go to school nine to two and I'm working about eight to noon on preschools those days. Um, and I started Kitty Clicks in 2014. 
um, with my own church, they had a preschool program and the director came to me and said like, Hey, I know you shoot weddings. Would you like to shoot preschools? And I said, well, yes, I have no idea how to shoot a preschool, but of course I'll shoot a preschool. And, um, so I started off with them and just kind of like added preschool slowly word of mouth and then shot my last wedding in 2017 and kind of full steam ahead in 2018 on building the preschool business to something really sustainable and, um, a really good profit from that. Right. That's right. I I was in a similar boat probably in 2007. We worked for another volume studio. And uh, I remember my wife and I were thinking to ourselves, you know, we've been here for about four or five years. We haven't received a raise yet. I think now's the time to ask because we were busting our butts doing 50 to 60 to 70 hours a week. And at the time, I guess the raise wasn't really discussed, but the owner was like, you know, why don't you get into portraits and weddings and I can fund your equipment. I can fund your space, whatever you need. I'll fund it. You know, he will take a certain amount of the profits. You keep the rest. But we actually thought to ourselves, you know, what? that's not a bad idea. So we tried to get into weddings. We probably did upwards of like 20 to 30 weddings. And then I just realized I, I didn't think I was that good at it. So I just wanted to get out of it as quickly as I could. Plus, it was a really stressful day. I have a great amount of respect for wedding photographers because you're with these people probably 10 to 12 hours a day. And yeah. for some reason, everyone looks for the photographer right by the day so the minute you get in there they kind of look at you like okay like now what do we do and i'm like be yourself do what you got to do like pretend i'm not even here you know so we had to deal with that the whole time and then i was like at the time we were maybe charging 2500 to three thousand dollars and then we started doing youth sports on the weekends and we were making seven eight nine thousand dollars and being done within the three hour time we looked at each other we're like all right make a decision we're either going to pick up more weddings or we're going to pick up more sports and we went the sports route and I cannot be happier. So we're in a similar boat. I totally get it. Um, yeah, it's, that's why right. high schools, I can make really similar to what I was making with a wedding with so much less time, so much right. less communication, so much less on the line than wedding photography was. And um, it's just really easy, cut and dry. They come back every year. So I'm not having to worry about going and getting new clients. I just keep my old clients and then add True. new ones as I can. Yep. Great point. Absolutely. Um, that leads in really well to the next question. Why? I yeah, love it. <laughs> absolutely. Um, yeah. I was just going to say, it seems you have a love for preschool photography. So talk to me about it. Why do you love do. it so much? Well, first of all, I love the kids and um, they're just, they want to perform for you and right. they want to do a good job and please you. And um, with having a two and a three-year-old myself, I relate to the kids a lot better than I used to. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, that yeah. part has gotten easier. Um, but what I really love about preschool photography is the marketing experience and mm-hmm. um, just the sustainability involved with that. I had gotten my wedding photography business to where it was sustainable because of the relationships that I had made with other wedding photographers and venues and stuff. People were referring me weddings, but it was still the stress in January of like, am I going to fill this year up? Am I going to get the 30 weddings that I need? What am I going to do? And with preschools, I've had some of the preschools that I originally shot back in 2014 who are still with me to this day. So, um, I love that you can go and just ask directly. You would never ask a bride, oh, hey, I want to shoot your wedding. Like, come let me shoot your wedding for $5,000. But with a preschool director, it's not coming out of their pocket. So you can tell them, even if you're working with another photographer, I guarantee you we will give you a better experience. We are so easy. Nothing comes through the office. You don't have to take money. You don't have to deal with parent questions. Just send them straight to me. I will make your life so easy. And that's what really wins people over in the preschool business is making their job less difficult, giving parents a good experience and a good quality product. And um, they'll stay with you. Yeah, for sure. Now, do you offer rebates or fundraising back to preschools? Some. So that's something that I'm just now getting into. Um, The preschools who have been with me forever, I never offered it. I just said, we will give you a better experience. And that has been enough. Um, But now that I'm trying to really, really grow and expand, um, I have some schools who are coming to me from a very large company. I know you probably know what I'm talking about. And they offer a lot of rebates. Um, Yeah, but they can't offer what I can offer being local. So I'll offer them. um, This is all in my preschool 
photography magazine, but I have a whole list of perks that you can either choose two perks from the top part of the list, or you can have a 10%, um, a 10% commission. So right. they only get the 10% commission if they want that, but you've got this whole list of other perks, 20% off for all the teachers and staff, um, two five by sevens for each class for you to be able to give the teachers, um, those photos, right. uh, teacher and staff headshots. I've got like a whole list of stuff that they can pick two things if they will not take the commission. And for the most part, that's what they do. Okay. Yeah. It makes total sense. We've actually thought about going that route where, you know, we're roughly around the 15 to 20% commission rate are all on all of our elementary schools. And I just had a discussion with my wife and I said, you know, why don't we offer them a package and say, in lieu of the commission, you can get all of this stuff. You know, right now we have complimentary class photos similar to what you have, teach mm -hmm. staff photos for individuals and, you know, service items they get as well. But I almost want to make it like an, an a la carte, like they can make a selection. You know what I mean? Like they'll get more service items and less commission. But really, the service items are more valuable to them than the 10% commission made, you know? Yeah. Another thing that I'm playing around with, I've got, um, it's a preschool in a, a huge mega church here in Dallas, Fort Worth, and they only do fall. And even though I've tried and tried, they've always said no on spring with me. Um, they're not doing anything for spring and they just have so many kids that it's really right. tough on them to put together picture day. Um, but they've had really good experiences with me in the fall since 2016. And this year I'm going to offer them, um, if they'll do spring with me, I do all right. the kids individual pictures. And then for the pre-K kids, I do graduation cap and gown photos. And what I want to do is let them pre-sell buttons. Like, you know, those little buttons that you wear on your shirt for sure, $10 sure. a piece. And then they'll send that out, you know, just in like a little flyer to their parents with an order form. And then any parents that order, I'll front the cost of those buttons and it can just be, um, a fundraiser for them. So right. I'll take care of the buttons. They're like $2 and five cents a piece or something. And um, they'll sell them for $10 and keep all the profit from that. And that would be less than the commission that I would pay them, even a 10% commission, less than right. that. Um, I like it. For their deal. Yeah. Um, I, something just popped in my head. I want to do you. So if you let me share my screen again here, sure. um, let me just try and bring this in and let me know if you can see this here, Emily. Do you see my screen? Mm -hmm. Okay. So you sent me the sample and this looks like it's some of the preschool uh, children that you photographed. Mm -hmm. Do you have like a specific style? Like this background is pretty cool. If you ask me, uh, is this what you use for all your preschools or you just switch it up, switch up your lighting or talk to me about your, your actual process. So the lighting is consistent throughout everything. I only do inside photos. I only do with a backdrop. Um, it's two alien bees with the big umbrellas with the diffuser. Um, right in front of the kids. And then for the backdrops, I just send out a gallery that has all of their backdrop options in it. And at this point, I have about 30 um, backdrop options that they can okay. choose from. And so they're just picking their background every semester. And some of the schools I've been with so long that they're re-picking ones that they picked like six years ago. Right. Um, so for the fall and spring, I've got so many options for them. And that has been a huge advantage for me um, over some of the other companies in DFW who are using the same backdrop every single semester. It allows okay. me to shoot fall and spring and get really different looks for them. Um, and directors have been loving that and parents have been loving it too. Right. Excellent. Good deal. Um, all right. So let's talk marketing real quick. Um, yeah. I'm curious to know, do you have a specific angle that you take? Uh, ideas to offer because it seems to me that you're growing very quickly in your market. So if you don't mind sharing some of those with us, I think that'd be great. So my main source of marketing since I started has been MailChimp. Um, so towards the very, very beginning, I just went online and I have a method <laughs> that I use Facebook. I just type in like preschool and then go um, preschool and then I click pages and then I go over to the left um, sidebar and I put in Denton, Texas, Coppell, Texas, Flower Mound, Texas, all of the places in the DFW Metroplex that I want to target. Right. And then you can click on their Facebook page and then go to the about and it'll have, 
it'll have the email right there waiting for you. So I've just compiled this huge list of preschool um, directors emails and I send out at least one email a week. So I'm right. really flooding their inboxes and I do get unsubscribed every once in a while, but for the most part, these people aren't unsubscribing for me and um, I'll get calls where they say, Hey, I've been getting your emails for like two years and you know, we're, we're ready. We want to right. see what you've got to offer. Yeah. So it's kind of click, click, clicking that button every time. Yeah. So um, with MailChimp, what I really, really love about it is that I can put links in there. So I put a link to my photographer, to my um, preschool photography magazine, where I've got all of the information in there for them. And they can go and read step by step exactly how to book, exactly how the backdrops work, exactly how the commission works, exactly everything. Um, and then on the back end of MailChimp, I can see who clicked that link. And I can right. link the backdrops um, so that they can look at all the backdrops. I can see who clicked that link. And so I can go in after the fact and say, okay, these four directors were interested enough to click on my magazine and read it. So then I can send right. them an individual email that says like, hey, we saw that you um, looked at our magazine template. I hope you loved it. We would love to work with you this semester. Here's our pricing. Here's everything um, that we've got to offer. And I really, really stress the ease of it's all online ordering. Um, it drop ships straight to the parents. So no money's going through the school office. No photos are going through the school office. Everything is done from me directly to the parent. Right. That's great. That's a, it's, um, you know, it's similar. Me and you had a brief discussion before we did this, but we just recently did something similar with constant contact. And, you know, first of all, I love the templates. I think that building the email templates are so great and you can make it so professional looking and I like visuals, right? So I have a picture of my wife and myself right at the top. Mm -hmm. I want the people to understand that this is like a local small business. We're here for you. We're not here for anybody else. We're here for the kids and every link in there is clickable. So it brings them to our website. It brings them to our digital magazine, similar to what you have. I think it's a really good route to take for sure. Yeah. Um, all right, that's wonderful. Thanks, Emily. So we also had another discussion where you said you don't like to offer packages, nor do you offer packages. Talk to me. And part what of happened? this is just because I never have. Um, when I started in 2014, had zero clue what I was doing. Put together um, just like a little flyer with an order form, and then I ordered four by six photos for every single kid, put those right. in a little package. It, it was like an ordeal and a half. Yeah. But what I learned that I really liked from that very first um, semester, we went digital the semester after that because it was not fun to do it all paper. No. Um, but what I learned from, from that was that I really did like having just the a la carte menu. And um, from doing my research online um, to what everybody else is doing, it kind of seems like even just with the a la carte options, parents are ordering the same amount yeah. as they would um, with the package. So if I was putting out $40 packages with all this stuff in it that parents don't really want or need, I would rather just sell them exactly what they want. Um, and my averages are 55 to $65 per parent. Yeah. So good average. So do you have a minimum order amount or no? I don't. Okay. So there will be parents every once in a while, my four by sixes are $8 and, um, oh. Parents typically don't order eight dollars and then pay shipping of three three ninety five. I think that's what my shipping is. Yeah. Um, but I do charge shipping and I do make it drop ship. Um, but I think because of that, I sell so many more digitals. I'm right. hardly shipping out um, like drop ship packages. They go straight from the lab to the parent. But I sell way more digitals than I do prints. Okay. So now that you're drop shipping, this always brings up to my attention, and it's I know a lot of people are curious about it as well, but. How are the class photos handled? Are those delivered later? Are they are they uploaded into the gallery of that student so the parent sees it? How do you handle that? Um, so with class photos, I do it a little different than I know a lot of people do it. I know a lot of people say like, I'm only selling um, prints of the class photo so that one parent won't order the digital right. and then just share sure. it with everybody else. Sure. I just trust people. I just, I don't think that's happening. Um, my kids are in preschool and I don't really know a single person in either one of my kids' classes that I would be like, hey, 
do you want to go to go in on a $25 digital and we'll split it? Right. I, I think people, yeah. especially in the preschools that I'm in, parents are paying a lot of money to have these kids um, in their preschool. So I think $25 is not a make it or break it for them. And if they want the class photo, they'll buy it. Right. They do. Um, I mean, it shows from the sales, people are buying the class photo a lot. Of so, <clears throat> so the class photo is in their gallery, right? Like if there's, pre-k three you know mrs davis's class that class image does it have anything on the bottom does it say the name of the school the grade the teacher name or is it can they select the class photo they want or do you select the best and only import one so i do it two different ways and the director gets to decide do you want a class composite like that picture that you pulled up earlier yeah. where it was like all the kids in the little boxes or do you want like the traditional class photo where i line the kids up you know, some of them are sitting, some of them are standing, take the picture. Um, and if I do it that way, it has like a little border around it that says, you know, Trinity Learning Center 2019. Sure. Threes class, whatever. Um, and then same thing, if I do the composite, it says the name of the school, the school year and the class name. Right. With their own logo that I just pull offline. Yeah, of course. Makes total sense. And do you offer multiple posing like what, what's your workflow on site what's your process um so when i started i was offering two poses i would just do a full length vertical and then a cropped in headshot horizontal photo and okay. um about two years in don't know why it took me so long but about two years in i decided let me add a third photo and just see how that pans out pans right. out really well so now I have five key shots and actually if anybody's watching this and wants the PDF of the five key shots, just shoot me an email um, at kittyclicks at gmail.com, K-I-D-D-I clicks at gmail.com and I'll get you that PDF. Um, but that's what I send to all of my associate photographers so that they can memorize that beforehand. I want these five key shots and then any other ones that you can get on top of that. So if a kid is really- yeah, right, Emily, down there. I'm sorry, is that right? That email? That's right. Yeah, that's perfect. Okay. So just sorry, email ahead. that um, and I'll get you that PDF if anybody wants it. Um, but it's it's five shots where I'm moving myself and the camera and the kid is sitting in the chair and I'm just focused on getting their expression to change between shots. Right. So I've got five different looking photos um, without them really, uh, without taking the time to say, now you're going to stand by the chair. Now you're going to sit on the ground. Now you're going to sit in yeah. the chair. Yeah. So we're it's still special. able to pop them out and get it really quickly. Right. Yeah. I think an expression. So, I mean, I'm glad you said that because we do multiple posing as well. And it's, it's just easy to say multiple posing, but really for us, it's multiple looks and expressions mm -hmm. because we're not going to the tree. We photograph outside. We're not going to the tree. We're not moving them. We're not putting them in a different setting, but we are getting different looks out of them. You know, maybe a small right. head tilt, smiling with teeth, without teeth. Uh, we just started to do a silly face right at the end of each session. We asked the kid once the class comes out, listen, guys, if you are interested, you can have fun up there. Give a silly face or whatever you want. If you don't want it, that's totally fine. And we'll have like 30% of the parents buying a silly photo. Yeah. You know, they, they can just maybe, you know, sticking his tongue out, whatever it may be. But some parents like it. Maybe worth yeah. it. Might as well. Might as well give them the option. Yeah. It takes like one second more. Yes, in exactly. Shooting it and like one second more in editing it and you've got another right. option available for people to purchase. I've always been team, give them everything you got and see what they like. Yeah, um, that's great. So then kind of back to the workflow process, like mm -hmm. do you, what type of editing do you do post-processing? Obviously you direct ship, you touched on that, we totally get it, but maybe from when the shoot is done to when the okay. images are set to selling, like what's happening in between. Okay, so when the shoot is done, um, I take them home, uh, put all the cards into the computer, and then I cull using Photo Mechanic. And if okay. you're not using Photo Mechanic, oh my gosh, check out the free trial. It has changed my life. There's no lag time. Um, the folders are really easy to use, and I am just like, I love Photo Mechanic. Okay. And so I cull into that. And I am shooting with the QR card. So I'm calling the QR card and then all of the photos that I'm choosing of the kids. And then I put them in the Lightroom and um, I have a preset that I use that I just click the preset and I go through every single photo just to make sure we're okay on all of them. Um, 
if I need to edit one in Photoshop, I'll just put a star on that one and then I'll go back at the end and click, you know, to see all of the ones that I starred. Um, for the most part, I do not like to get into Photoshop for yeah. any of my work, but sometimes there will be things that are just out of the parent's control. Like right. if you put your kid in a green shirt and you email me and say, uh, I really wish his shirt was yellow, like too bad. There's <laughs> nothing I can do about that. Oh, God. But if you were rushing out of the house and your kid dropped some toothpaste on a shirt and there's a little, you know, mark that the parent didn't see till they got to the school. Yeah. You'll take care of that. Edit that out for them. Yeah. Sure. So, or like scratches and bruises. That's a, that's a big thing. Oh <laughs> yeah. Preschool Definitely. photographers that of course your kid's going to fall and bust their head open the day before picture day. And it's really important yep. to you. So Definitely. anything like that, I'll take care of in Photoshop. Um, no problem. And then I upload into the gallery and I'm doing all separate galleries for each child. Okay. And, um, then I will just send it out, send out the email and every parent's getting a separate email with a separate password where when they go in, they put in the password, they can see only their child's gallery and, um, just wait for the orders to start coming in. Yeah. It's great. When you see that, how do you communicate the gallery to the parent? What's your process? Are you, do you get um, emails ahead of time? Do you just give them a, a card to go home with that day? I'm, I'm getting the spreadsheet from the director. So it has yeah. all of the parents' email addresses on there. Okay. Um, and then I'm able to just like send it out to all the parents. Individually. Right, right. Or Perfect. not individually, but I press the like send this to the parents button on my yeah. on the gallery and it sends it out to them. Perfect. That explains it all. All right. Um, so before we end the show, I want to try and keep it to about 30 minutes today. But you're yeah. also an educator, and I know you have a lot to offer. You have this magazine. You may have templates and PDFs. I want you to take this opportunity to tell everyone who's watching and myself what you got and what you can offer. Um, so I have been doing live workshops, mentoring, and coaching for about the last five years. Um, and then I have just created an e-course that is so close to being done. It's almost out. And if you go to the website, you can click on the course and it'll have you put in your email um, and you can get an exclusive discount just from watching this YouTube video that when the course is out, you can enter in a coupon code and get that course for, um, for a discount. So the course is literally everything you need to know about preschool photography, how I built this business from zero to six figures. Um, and it, it's the most sustainable business that I've ever done that preschools are just coming back to me every single year. I'm not, I'm able to plan my year so far in advance um, that it has just been great for my family and great for um, both income and lifestyle wise. I'm able to be with my kids a ton and preschool photography has literally changed my life. Right. That's right. Um, we've also got the magazine and that has changed the game in selling um, to preschool directors and getting them to book. And sometimes I will pick a target area, um, just like something really good socioeconomic, um, places with young families. And I'll go and just walk into the preschools and just hand them the magazine. And I've booked people that second from handing right. them the magazine and they will say, okay, yeah, we're, we're interested. What do we need to do to book? Right. Others, they'll have somebody who they're working with already, but I'll keep in touch with them via email. Um, and I have had preschools book from that, just from me keeping in touch with them. They have the magazine in a drawer and, you know, if they have a bad experience with their preschool director or their, or with their preschool photographer or their preschool photographer gets out of the industry, um, that magazine is right there in the drawer that they can pick it up and give me a call. Right. That's great. Um, okay. So it's an e-course that you're offering, right? And they can go to this yeah. website that's on the screen right here. Mm -hmm. If you go to that website, here. there's a banner where you can click on and um, and be able to see about the course. Right. Okay. That sounds wonderful. Well, Emily, a big thank you from me to you for coming on the yeah. show. I Thanks think, um, yeah, of course, it's, it's wrapped up my questions. I think if anyone else has questions, uh, I'm going to say it's okay for them to shoot you an email down below. Yeah, if that's all right. Great. Um, they may be, I'll, I'll probably post this video into the Facebook group as well, as I mentioned before. So feel free to comment, contact Emily directly. Uh, she's a, a, a book of knowledge. Uh, I'll probably be reaching out to her soon as well on my end. 
But again, Emily, thank you so much for joining us. I'll be in touch shortly and we will see you on Volume Photography, Modern and Classic Facebook yeah, group. Well. All, right. All right. Thanks so much. Bye guys. You got it, Emily. Have a great day. Thanks. Take care. <clears throat> okay. That is the show today. Thank you everyone for tuning in. Uh, before we end, I just want to make a brief announcement because I'm super excited for this one. Uh, Eric Smith of HP HSP Imaging Incorporated is going to be joining us next week. You may know Eric for his father-daughter dances, his on-site printing, um, and I know he does volume photography as well, whether it be school or youth sports. But I think we're going to try and focus uh, the show on on-site printing and selling photos at whether it be dances, proms, um, fashion shows, any other event you could think of, but he's got it down to his science. It's going to be an extremely interesting show. He'll tell you all about the software he uses, the print sizes he prints, the printers he uses, his pricing. Uh, whatever questions you have, I'm sure he's happy to answer. We do not have a date and time set up. Uh, we're probably looking again towards next Wednesday or Thursday, but look out for the post and it'll be in our group, uh, maybe a couple of the groups when it's going to happen. So thank you everyone for tuning in. I'm Tim McDonough with Pro Tips Live, uh, Masters of Volume Photography. Um, and again, that was Emily Davis, one of our other Masters of Volume Photography. So thanks again, guys. Love y'all madly. And I will see you next week.